This is the lab for the 2D Collision Lab. For this lab, you'll have to have a large piece of paper on the floor. It'll be taped down at the corner. Here you're going to have a small plumb bob, that's the hanging string you see there, and it has to be a few centimeters from the edge of the paper. Notice it's over the paper. If you follow the string upward, it takes us up to the ramp. The ramp is where we'll be rolling marbles. Notice the position of the two balls. They're going to correspond to this diagram. See how they're placed. This is going to be very important. Make sure you get your measurements right. You're going to be rolling a white glass marble down the ramp, as well as some steel balls. To roll them down, you'd have the target ball down at the bottom, balanced on the small screw you see here. Then you'll have a steel ball that rolls down the ramp and strikes it. You're also going to have a steel ball that's got some tape on it. You've got to be very careful to make sure when this one's on the screw that that tape is the striking surface that the other ball will hit. If it doesn't hit the tape, you're not getting the proper collision. Of course, it helps to actually hit the marble you're aiming for. If your alignment's off, you just move this arm over a little bit, and then you go again. Notice it hits the side with the tape. The mounting screw here can be adjusted. The balls are different sizes, so you may need to adjust it up and down a little bit so you get a good, solid hit. Of course, if you're going to compare the momentum before and after a collision, you need to find out what the momentum is without a collision. So swing the arm all the way out of the way. You don't want the ball to actually hit it by mistake as it goes through. You want a good, clean hit. If the arm is too far off to the side, when the rolling steel ball comes down through, it'll just sort of nick it on the way through, causing it to fall off the edge. Not a good hit. On the other hand, you don't want it to hit too directly. If it's lined up straight in front of it, when it hits it, they'll both just sort of fall straight forward. If you have everything adjusted just right, that armature is in the right position left and right, and you've got the screw adjusted so that the ball doesn't get hit up into the air or slammed down where it's a nice forward hit, you get a good glancing blow. One marble will go to the left and one will go to the right. Watch the floor and see where the balls hit the floor. Once you see those locations, then you put down the carbon paper, one for each location. Make sure you put the black side down, then that design side up. Once you're done with the lab, don't want anyone to trip over the strings that are hanging down off the edge. So pull the strings up, put them on the table, and then you're done. Just be careful. Don't lose your marbles.